in the Hidi Bukonya village in Gachenya district. The torrential rains caused mudslides which swept through the house of Dusabi Manateonest, killing him together with his wife and six children. Sobbing, inconsolable and devastated relatives, friends and local authorities stepped around corpses lying beside the mass grave to bury the family of eight. We've been digging the hill, trying to exhume bodies trapped in the mud. There are neighbors who know where the house was and each room. We've been using holes, spades and all kinds of tools to exhume bodies. We started around 6 a.m. in the morning and the last body was retrieved around 3 p.m. Nina Mahoroni Zerida is the mother-in-law of Dusabi Manati Onest. The death of this family has left her all but alone. I've been crying since yesterday. He has been helping me in everything. I take care of other fostered kids. He helped us in everything we needed. The family of eight was part of the 23 fertilities that Gachenya district recorded during the torrential rains that struck the district and the rest of the country on Wednesday night. Gachenya district recorded a total of 577 houses that were cracked down by the heavy rains. The district mayor, Deogracious Zamuita, assured that authorities was working to avail humanitarian assistance to those who have been affected by the disaster. Today we joined the residents in burying the victims, but we are going to support the affected and surviving family members. From Gachenye, we traveled to Nyabihu district. Residents still engulfed in grief and shock following the sudden death of 18 people who all perished through landslides on Thursday. In Shida, households whose houses have been destroyed by the floods have been relocated to various schools for the time being. They are calling on the government to avail them with the best necessities as they wait for the next step. We have been told to go check the status of our houses and if possible clean those that are still in good shape and moving. We need basic essentials like soap to wash our clothes that were washed in the mud, beddings and shoes. I haven't put on a shoe since yesterday. They were all swept by the floods. The governor of Western Province, Alphonse Mignanwari, talked to us about the interventions put in place by the government to support the affected households. Households have been relocated to schools to avail them humanitarian assistance in different parts of the country. Our focus now is to ensure that they have food and somewhere to stay as we look for a long-term solution. In Rwanda, at least 72 people have been confirmed to have been killed by disasters associated with Wednesday night downpour, according to the Ministry of Emergency Management. The fatalities were recorded in at least seven districts of the country. They include Gachenye, Musanze, Nyabihu, Mohanga, Ruhango, Rubavu, and Gororo district. Besides the lives lost, the rain destroyed public infrastructure including roads like Chigari Musanzi Road, which was temporarily blocked on Thursday morning, but was later cleared and traffic resumed a few hours later. Reporting for RTV News, Ethan Tashobia.